Hello C Sharpens, I am Sajjad Arif Gul and today I am going to show you one very interesting project that I developed recently. Uh, it is Quizby and basically it is designed to help uh, make the process of creating and attempting quizzes easy. So let's have a demo of it. And this is the home page of Quizby and here uh, the most recent quizzes will be listed on. Each quiz will have uh, its title, description, allowed time. Uh, total number of questions and a direct link to attend this quiz. So first of all, let's see how a quiz is created. Uh, let's click on create new quiz. And as you can see, you will have to register your account or login. So for now, let's log in. And here we have this uh, page where we can create a quiz. On this page, we have uh, fields for quiz name, description and time duration. So let's specify the quiz name. I already have it here with me. So let's uh, just put it and let's also copy this description. Okay, so now here you specify uh, the allowed time. So for now, I'm allowing it to be a 30 minutes long quiz and save quiz and start adding questions. So on this page, you will specify. Uh, a question that would be included in this particular quiz so I already have it here with me so let's add this one headquarters of UNO are situated at and the correct option for this one is New York USA okay and you can add any number of other options so I'm going to specify Paris London and you can specify as many options as you would like so also add Karachi and note that um, the order of this option does not matter okay so whenever this uh, question will be shown to user every time the order of these options will be different so there might be the correct option might be on second or uh, second option or third option so the odd the option will be different every time so let's save this question and add another one okay so you can go on and add as many questions as you would like so for now let's uh, head back to quizzes page and here you will see all uh, the quizzes that has been entered in the quiz bee and along with uh, links and some information so let's try to modify this one okay modify quiz Okay, and we all get uh, previous description here and title name. So let's uh, limit this quiz to be only for one minute and update this question. Okay, and as you can see now the duration is only one minute. Uh, let's also check out what questions are in. And one, another thing here is that this page also has uh, search and reset. Okay, so and once uh, this page has uh, more than 10 items it will uh, also have a pagination so let's uh, have a demo of that as well in the questions page let's click on questions list and here we have uh, we, we get the same search bar here and along with the pagination here okay so let's go to second page okay so as you can see in the url every time uh, the page is different URL will be different and you can also search for a question from this field well, search okay so, so for now it doesn't find because uh, I put the wrong keyword there and now it has found the cooperation console was over here found by and you can we also have a link to modify this question from here so you can modify or update or delete discussion or add another option if you would like okay so now let's head back to most important and interesting part of this project um, let's attempt one of the quiz okay so click on attempt quiz okay and we are on this screen so um, before attempting the quiz you should uh, read the basic description of each quiz uh, you can also share this quiz with your students and friends on Facebook and Twitter. 
we also have this timer here okay so as soon as uh, the quiz is started the timer will also be started let's click on start quiz okay so the first question is shown and the timer is also started so let's uh, select an option okay randomly submit answer obviously you will have to select the right option but for now i'm just uh, clicking okay and this will go on and on until either the quiz is completed the quiz questions are completed or the timer is up okay so let's uh, try to add as many options as we can okay so i'm just randomly clicking on option here okay so as you can see timer is running fast let's go edit okay submit answer second word coordination submit cricket was on there okay and as soon as the timer is up we get the results of our quiz so here we have uh, that the time of the starting time the completing time and the quiz score and we can also attempt this quiz again by clicking on this link and we have uh, total questions to and attempted question the correct uh, answers and the total time taken uh, it will also list down uh, each attempted quiz um, with correct and wrong options okay so as you as you can see i have attempted a few of uh, the wrong options okay and uh, let's go back to the user profile here okay so here you can update your information your username email or password and let's uh, let's update this photo as well okay i'm going to select this one okay and update so profile is successfully updated <coughs> uh, you can also check your quiz results from this tab here okay so these are all my quiz attempts and you can also go to this page directly from your top navigation here uh, the quiz results are uh, are also shown separately here and another important thing uh, i should mention is that uh, Quizbee is uh, using Bootstrap so for its content, so uh, it is completely responsive on mobile devices as well. Okay, so now we are now checking in Nexus 5. Let's go to uh, my results page. Okay, as you can see here, it is completely responsive, and on the coding side, uh, basically, we are using C sharp ASP.NET MVC 5. Uh, along with entity framework code first approach and the database is uh, in microsoft sql server so if you have any question related to psb uh, you can uh, ask me on our facebook group or if you are interested in the code um, it is available for a small fee uh, you can uh, reach me on my personal email or my website uh, sijadbull.com or my email is sajadaribbull at gmail.com um, th Thanks for watching. Goodbye.